Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is the medications that slow down your metabolism. And it's a long list of them, and it would be interesting to know them. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree, and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel to enjoy the information we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. Okay. Today I'm going to show you the long list of the medications that they could affect your metabolism somehow. If you are trying to lose weight and it's not happening, and if you are stuck in your weight loss program, could be because of the medications you are taking. In one of our videos in the past, we discussed about plateau. Plateau, that means uh, you can't lose weight anymore. You have stuck for three weeks or more. One of the reasons for plateau was the medications you are taking and today i'm going to show you the list of those medications that it could affect your metabolism somehow okay in here at the top we have uh, there are 16 groups of them actually there are 16 groups of medication that they can affect your metabolism somehow let's review one by one group one corticosteroids Corticosteroids, they are a group of medications in medicine that are prescribed for many reasons, for cancer, autoimmune diseases, allergy, inflammation, and at the top of the scroll we have prednisone. If you are taking any corticosteroid medications, you are trying to lose weight, I'm afraid you're going to have a challenge. Group two, birth control pills. If you are taking any birth control pill, or you are on hormone replacement therapy after menopause, your weight loss is going to be a big challenge and I'm afraid you might plateau very quickly. Group three, antidepressant medications, medications that are prescribed for depression and anxiety. In medicine, there are six groups of medications that are prescribed for depression. For example, Celexa, Zoloft, Paxil, Velbutrin, if you are taking any of those medications, they're going to screw your metabolism. Group four, antihistamines. If you have allergy, if you have any kind of allergies, if you suffer from, I don't know, hay fever, let's say, you are taking antihistamine, they're going to affect your metabolism. Group five, sedatives and sleeping pills. If your doctor has prescribed for your sleeping pill because you don't have good sleep or you suffer from insomnia and you are trying to lose weight, I'm afraid they're going to affect your metabolism. Group six, beta blockers. Beta blockers are a group of medications in medicine that are prescribed for high blood pressure, irregular heartbeats, sometimes for migraine, sometimes for even anxiety. If you are taking any of them, they're going to screw your metabolism. Uh, Examples from beta blockers uh, like uh, propranolol, metoprolol, nadolol. Actually, beta blockers are among the worst uh, medications when it comes to uh, blocking the medication metabolism. Because for fat burning, we need to stimulate uh, basically beta receptors. But when you take beta blockers, you have blocked the beta receptors already. Group seven, anti-TB. TB stands for tuberculosis. It is a nasty infectious disease. Two medications that are prescribed for tuberculosis, repumpin and isoniazide. They affect your metabolism. Group eight, anti-HIV medications. If you have been diagnosed with AIDS, if you are taking any medications, you know, to basically for HIV, you are HIV positive, they're going to affect your metabolism. Group nine, anti-acids. Lots of people these days, they take, you know, some sort of medication, you know, for stomach acidity. Two of them, they screw your metabolism. Cymetidin, which is famous as Tagamet. Ranitidin, which is famous as Zantag, actually Tagamet and Zantag in Canada, they are over the country, you don't need prescription, and I'm not sure about other countries. Group 10, narcotics, especially methadone. Group 11, antipsychotic medications. 
those medications are usually prescribed for uh, people especially with schizophrenia like risperidone the other one would be olanzapin right they miss out your metabolism group 12 chemo drugs in medicine there are over 500 medications that are used to treat different cancers unfortunately most of them they miss up metabolism group 13 antibiotics if you are taking antibiotics for any reasons if you are suffering from chronic infection let's say you have I don't know sinus infection sometimes you have over that H pilot infection in your stomach and you have to take antibiotics for them for a long time they're gonna affect your metabolism because antibiotics they're gonna lead to dysbiosis that means we can have imbalance between good bacteria and bad bacteria when you have dysbiosis metabolism becomes uh, slow and two antibiotics not only they're gonna lead to dysbiosis but also they affect the metabolic activity of the liver those two antibiotics are ciprofloxacin and enoxacin group 14 anti-malaria medications again malaria is another infectious disease that is common in some country and one of the medications for uh, malaria uh, its name is artemisinin this anti-malaria medications unfortunately is going to screw the metabolism group 15 anti-arrhythmics you know these medications in medicine are prescribed for those people they have been diagnosed with irregular heartbeats your doctor your cardiologist they are going to prescribe these medications to control those irregular heartbeats those medications they affect metabolism and two famous medications from this group they affect the metabolism are amiodarone and mexilitin and finally group 16 is statins these days lots of people they take statin medications for high cholesterol sometimes they're prescribed for those people after heart attack sometimes they're prescribed after any you know, kind of uh, heart surgery uh, they're gonna affect metabolism two common medications from statin group are Crestor and Lipitor so you can see here in here we have a long list of the medications that they might screw your metabolism somehow but when I say they're gonna affect your metabolism, that doesn't mean at all that you are not gonna lose weight at all. No, I am not saying that, but they're gonna affect your metabolism and they're gonna slow it down and your weight loss definitely is gonna be challenging. If you are taking any of these medications and you have difficulty losing weight and you have stuck somewhere, you can't lose anymore, we would be happy to help you how to go around your medication and how to trick the body to stimulate your metabolism to lose weight I'm sure that you'll learn interesting information today because we make science easy to understand now you know if you don't want to miss our weekly videos you may subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to support us you can share like or comment on this video until next time stay safe stay connected